Trump just destroyed Obama and his thugs who viciously attacked Melania, you'll love this. The leftist thugs are so frustrated that they have turned their hatred toward First Lady Melania Trump. Melania is upset after she attempted to reach out to the liberal losers, showing them some decency, and they responded by viciously attacking her. These thugs are Barack Obama supporters, and their attack did not go unnoticed. President Donald Trump just destroyed Obama and his thugs, shutting their mouths for good. You're going to love this. It all started when Baron Trump was attacked for wearing a red graphic t-shirt as he deplaned after the Trump's recent trip to New Jersey. Walking off of Air Force One alongside his parents, Baron Trump looked relaxed and renewed in khaki shorts, matching Dan loafers and a red graphic tee. The tee, which reads on your mark Tiger Shark, has seemingly caught the eye of the Internet, anxious to share the first son style, reported AOL News. Barron's fashion sense sent one fashion reporter into a fit, as he attacked Barron saying, One thing that isn't normal though is the way he, Barron, dresses when he joins his parents for a public appearance. The hit piece goes on to say Barron should be dressed up when he is on Air Force One. What a bunch of malarkey. It's summer, it's hot, he's 11 years old. More importantly, he looked fine. Shockingly. The leftist's attack on Barron for his clothing choice caused Chelsea Clinton, who is obsessed with Twitter and transforming her image into a serious politico, to stand up for Barron. Dear Maddie, she began, referring to the author of the hit piece. Barron is a kid. No child should be talked about in the below manner in real life or online. And for an adult to do so? For shame, tweeted Chelsea. Unfortunately. It would be nice if Clinton didn't have ulterior motives, which is making herself out to be a legit candidate for political office. But, that didn't matter to our classy first lady. In fact, Melania Trump thanked Chelsea and, in a real way, was reaching out to the liberals. Isn't this what our floatists should be doing? Being decent to a Clinton and showing those Barack Obama Hillary Clinton supporters that it's time to stop all this madness dividing the country? Apparently, not. Sadly, the Vipers came out in force, attacking Melania for thanking Chelsea. These are hardcore Obama supporters who are always comparing Michelle Obama to Melania Trump. One leftist tweeted, Melania's first public platform was to state she was going to be an anti-online bullying advocate, right? Another responded, at Flotus is supposed to have a campaign on anti-bullying yet a past president's daughter is doing a better job and in her best interest. Those were the tame responses. Many are filled with salacious remarks and vulgar words, and we won't give them any publicity. We don't have to because these Obama thugs are all worried about a cyberbullying program when the country is on the verge of collapsing, thanks to who they supported for eight years. Trump destroys their ridiculous attack on Melania by his actions, which are digging America out of the hole left by Obama. The Trump administration's accomplishments include getting Judge Neil Gorsuch appointed to the Supreme Court, creating more than one million jobs in six months, pulling out of the TPP, supporting law enforcement, and cracking down on illegal immigration, to name a few, reports Fox News. What does Obama have to show for eight years? His failed Obamacare is bankrupting this country. Yet these knuckleheads are so concerned that Melania hasn't started a cyberbullying program. Talk about whacked out of your minds. Trump's accomplishments in seven months outdo eight long years of failures by Obama, but all these liberals can do is cyberbully Flotus Melania Trump for not having a cyberbullying campaign in place. Oh, the irony. This is exactly why our country won't heal its wounds. The leftist thugs on the internet and on the streets refuse to be objective and look at the records of Trump vs Obama. They don't want to heal America, they want to destroy us. Those of us who love this country must face the fact that the violent leftists hate America and hate our values. But, we will win this war on our culture by voting out every Democrat and Republican in name only, R.I.N.O., in 2018, that's the next battle ahead. Sadly. The Vipers came out in force, attacking Melania for thanking Chelsea. These are hardcore Obama supporters who are always comparing Michelle Obama to Melania Trump. One leftist tweeted, 
Melania's first public platform was to state she was going to be an anti-online bullying advocate, right? Another responded, at Flotus is supposed to have a campaign on anti-bullying yet a past president's daughter is doing a better job, and in her best interest. Those were the tame responses. Many are filled with salacious remarks and vulgar words, and we won't give them any publicity. We don't have to because these Obama thugs are all worried about a cyberbullying program when the country is on the verge of collapsing, thanks to who they supported for eight years. Trump destroys their ridiculous attack on Melania by his actions, which are digging America out of the hole left by Obama. The Trump administration's accomplishments include getting Judge Neil Gorsuch appointed to the Supreme Court, creating more than one million jobs in six months, pulling out of the TPP, supporting law enforcement, and cracking down on illegal immigration, to name a few, reports Fox News. What does Obama have to show for eight years? His failed Obamacare is bankrupting this country. Yet these knuckleheads are so concerned that Melania hasn't started a cyberbullying program. Talk about whacked out of your minds. Trump's accomplishments in seven months outdo eight long years of failures by Obama, but all these liberals can do is cyberbully Flotus Melania Trump for not having a cyberbullying campaign in place. Oh, the irony. This is exactly why our country won't heal its wounds. The leftist thugs on the internet and on the streets refuse to be objective and look at the records of Trump vs. Obama. They don't want to heal America, they want to destroy us. Those of us who love this country must face the fact that the violent leftists hate America and hate our values. But, we will win this war on our culture by voting out every Democrat and Republican in name only, RINO, in 2018, that's the next battle ahead. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.